Alrighty, so you wanna know how you can not just run web UI in any browser, but in your own specific browser. It's really, really simple. Let me show you how. Okay, so we've got web UI up and running on our local host, and we wanna basically go to Google, search for eBay, open eBay, and search for a Squirtle Pokemon trading card. If we come to browser settings, there's this little button over here that says use your own browser. I wish it was that easy, but we have to do a little bit of config. The config comes down to our .env file that sits on the, that sits within our web UI cloned GitHub repo, right? It's this .env file over here. Okay, so you're gonna open up that .env file. I've scrolled down a bit just so no one sees my API keys, but above this, you'll have all your API keys that you can go and set. In here, you'll also have a couple of other settings. So you, specifically, you'll have Chrome settings. So all of this information over here, don't worry about it. There's two things you're gonna do. One, the Chrome persistent session will be equal to false initially. You're gonna change that to true. And then you're gonna come and paste in these two lines. Where can you get these two lines? If you go to the web UI GitHub page, I'll bring that up now. So in the web UI GitHub page, and there'll be a link to this in the description, you just scroll all the way down, or well kind of, and you'll hit this. This is what you wanna copy. So Chrome path, Chrome user data. You know, copy those two across to your .env file. All right, so we've got our .env, let's just bring that up over there. And then only thing you're gonna change is you want to add, so if we bring that up, let's bring it up a little bit more, is currently default it says your username whatever your name is on your computer mine is jagger Belagada, it's my name and surname you're going to just change it to that in that one line line above leave it as is so it knows it's mac os google chrome and then it's just me as the user paste it in that so and then you go ahead and just save your .env so two steps one change the chrome persistent session to true from false and second of all copy the sin which you can get from the link in the description change your change the your user name to your actual username and save. We've saved that. Now let's come back to our Safari. One last step that you need to do, which is quite important, is keep Google Chrome completely closed, right? So in this case, you can still see I've got it kind of up and running because I was showing you the, the, the GitHub page. We're gonna quit out of that. So it's closed, right? We need it to be closed. So we've got Safari up and running, right? And it's in use your own browser. And we've got go to Google, search for eBay, open eBay, search for Squirtle Pokemon trading card. If we hit run agent, this is gonna open up my browser. Logged into Google already, I'm logged into, might be logged into eBay, I'm not too sure, but it's your current browser that you normally use. So let's hit run agent. Alrighty, so we're gonna go and we're gonna say run agent. Okay, so it opens up my Google Chrome. You can see I'm logged in in the top corner here. This is my actual browser. Let's see if it executes. So it's going to Google. Again, hands up, not doing anything. It's picking up all these different elements and components, identifying what it needs to do. At this point, it should search for eBay and then go to the eBay URL, which it is doing, which is pretty cool. It's loaded up eBay. It's now highlighting all the components over there. It should click on to uh, 17, which is the first URL, which is the eBay one. It's in eBay over here. You can see it popped up with my login details. It's obviously not gonna log in because I'm gonna tell it to. It's now should search for a Squirtle Pokemon card. And there you go. We've got Squirtle Pokemon card up and running. I didn't do a thing. AI did all of it within my browser, which is epic. If you guys found this useful, please do like and subscribe. Over 95% of the people that watch this channel are not subscribed. So do me a favor, like and subscribe if you're getting some benefit out of this, if it helped you in any way. And I will promise you, I will continue making better and better videos and providing better and better content to you. So thank you guys. I will see you on the next one. Cheers.